All right, so sometimes I go a little over three minutes with these videos, but I think this one's going to be well under because this is a really simple tool, but a great important concept that people can really appreciate. Um, if you want to let kids watch YouTube videos and you don't want them distracted by all that YouTube stuff, um, you can always embed it somewhere. Uh, that could be a little complicated sometimes, and even when you embed it, um, you're not uh, safe from getting the um, all the videos that come up at the end, right? You'll get that little grid of different videos to consider checking out. So to use SafeShare, all you got to do is come out here, paste in the URL for a YouTuber Vimeo video and hit generate safe view and it's going to do its thing. And then here you go, you're going to have this. And you can see that, you know, you're seeing the video with none of the explore, uh, surrounding nonsense. Um, let's stop that. Uh, the the other thing is that when you hit submit here, so it's showing you the whole thing, um, you can even come in here and edit the title and description content in this case. And then when you hit submit, it's going to have created your um, content and you're going to see that you will get a URL that you can then use to share this. Um, you can also share it over social media. Um, but, you know, so now you've got a super safe URL you can give and when they come out, they're going to see just this simple version of your video. And that is pretty cool. And also, just to make it clear, uh, they remove ads, so no ads in the video. You can edit the start and end position of the video to shorten it. Um, and you can set it to private as well so that it cannot be found. The URL that you use cannot be found through a web search. So there you have it, SafeShare TV, a totally free way to deliver YouTube and Vimeo videos in a completely safe, non-distracting manner. Uh, you don't even have to create an account to do this. You just, you know, you run your um, video through the process and you've got a URL and that's it. You're done.